For this question, we want to draw a picture, set up the proper integral to find the area on your scratch paper. We're going to find the area of the region between the curves f of x equals 2x squared minus 6x minus 10 and g of x equals 8 minus 9x minus x squared. And we want to do that from x equals 0 to x equals 2. So we're going to start with the picture. And I need to get my calculator for that picture. OK, so I've got my calculator. So I'm going to type my two functions into the y equals menu. So I can see what this picture looks like. We have 2 x squared minus 6x minus 10 and 8 minus 9x minus x squared. We'll take a look at that graph. Okay. I'm going to zoom out a little bit because I'm not seeing the full picture here. Okay, so it looks like, um, let's take a screenshot of this so we can draw on the picture. This is the picture we got. And what I'm seeing here is that we have two quadratics. I know the graphs of quadratics are parabolas. And so in this picture, I see a down facing parabola as well as an up facing parabola. And we want to find um, the area between these two from 0 to 2. Okay. So from 0 to 2, it's a little bit hard to see because I'm zoomed out. I think might be around here somewhere. So well, maybe I should take a closer look, zoom in a little bit so we can see it better. So let's do this. Let's change the window. And for our x, we really only need to go from, let's say, negative 5 to 5. And we'll leave the y scale alone. So now we can see it a little bit better. Let's take another screenshot. Okay, so now what we can see is that down facing parabola and the up facing parabola. 
and we want to find the area between these two curves from 0 to 2. So I'm going to highlight the area that we're looking for. That's this area right here. I think this tick mark right here represents 1, and this tick mark represents 2. So we're finding the area from 0 to 2. So the reason why we wanted to look at this picture before we calculate the area is because our formula for calculating the area between two curves is the integral from a to b. Those are our x values. And we have f of x minus g of x. However, we need to make sure that f of x is the top curve and g of x is the bottom curve. So even though this is labeled f of x, it is the bottom curve. And this is labeled g of x, but it is the top curve. So when we set it up, we don't just blindly put in what is labeled f and g. We need to make sure we put in um, the top curve minus the bottom curve. So when we're setting up our integral to represent area here, it would be the integral from 0 to 2. Those are our bounds on x. And we need to have the top curve. The top curve is 8 minus 9x minus x squared minus the bottom curve of 2x squared minus 6x minus 10 dx. So that is the setup for our definite integral that will calculate the area between the two curves. So now let's move forward with the calculation. I'm going to do a little simplifying first. So inside I would distribute this negative and then combine like terms. I have 8 minus 9x minus x squared minus 2x squared uh, plus 6x plus 10 dx. And I'll combine like terms to get negative 3x squared minus 3x plus 18 dx. So I'm combining negative x squared and negative 2x squared to get negative 3x squared. I'm combining negative 9x with a positive 6x to get negative 3x. And then I'm combining 8 and 10 to get 18. And so just to clarify again, even though f of x was labeled f, it is the bottom curve because it's this up-facing parabola here. And so I know this is confusing, but this is the formula that's given in our text and they use f and g in the formula. And f is the top in the formula, b is g is the bottom, but for our problem, f, which is this up-facing parabola, is actually the bottom curve, and g is actually the top curve. So we have to put them in based on what is the top curve and the bottom curve, not how it's labeled. Okay, so then we're going to continue to calculate, and we want to find the antiderivative. That's a negative 3x cubed over 2. Sorry, that would be over 3. 
that's the antiderivative of negative 3x squared, so negative 3x cubed over 3, and then negative 3x squared over 2 for the next term, and 18x for the last term. We're going to evaluate this from 0 to 2. So now we're going to use our fundamental theorem of calculus. You want to evaluate at the upper bound and evaluate at the lower bound and subtract those two values. Negative 3 times 2 cubed over 3 minus 3 times 2 squared over 2 plus 18 times 2. So that's the evaluation of our upper bound. And then we're going to do the evaluation of our lower bound. That's negative 3 times 0 cubed over 3 minus 3 times 0 squared over 2 plus 18 times 0. And because we substituted in 0 there, all of that is 0. And we'll simplify this. These 3's cancel out. 2 cubed is 8. We'll carry that negative, so we have negative 8. We have negative 3 times 4 over 2, plus 18 times 2 is 36. And we have negative 8 minus 12 over 2 is 6, plus 36. That's negative 14 plus 36, which is 22. So we've got the area between those two curves from 0 to 2 is 22. On this one, we want to draw a picture and write the setup on our scratch paper and also answer this question. We want to find the area of the region between the curves f of x equals 9 minus x squared and g of x equals 2x minus 4 from x equals 0 to x equals 2. So on this example, we are going to um, start by drawing the picture because we need to identify what the top curve and bottom curve are. So on this example, uh, to find the area between two curves, we're going to use this formula. The definite integral from a to b of f of x minus g of x dx. And it's important that we have the top curve being what is before the minus sign and the bottom curve being what's after the minus sign. So that's why we're going to draw the picture first to make sure that we can identify which is the top curve and which is the bottom curve. And I know this is confusing because these are labeled f and g, but we really want to think of these as y equals until we figure out which one's the top curve, we'll set that, substitute that into f of x, and what is the bottom curve, we'll substitute that into g of x. So these are much easier equations to graph. Um, I have y equals 9 minus x squared, or negative x squared plus 9. So we're going to have a parabola shifted up 9 units. And it's also going to be facing down because of that negative. And then our other equation, y equals 2x minus 4, that is a linear equation. I've got a slope of 2 and a y-intercept of negative 4. I'm going to go down 4. And I'm going to rise to run 1. And we've got a line that looks like this. So we want to find the area between these two curves from x equals 0 to x equals 2. 
And so I'm going to draw uh, a vertical line at x equals 0. And x equals 2, I think, would be about here. And that identifies the area that we're looking for. So as I'm looking at this, I can see that the top curve is the parabola and the bottom curve is the line. So when I set up my integral, I'm going to go from 0 to 2, and I'm going to use the parabola as the top curve, negative x squared plus 9, and the line as the bottom curve, 2x minus 4. You want to make sure you put parentheses around that so you subtract the whole thing. And I'll use the distributive property to simplify the integrand. I've got the integral from 0 to 2 of negative x squared plus 9 minus 2x plus 4. We'll combine like terms to get negative x squared minus 2x plus 13. So now that we've simplified the integral, integrand, I will calculate the antiderivative of each term. The antiderivative of x squared, negative x squared, would be negative x cubed over 3. The antiderivative for negative 2x would be negative 2x squared over 2. The antiderivative of 13 will be 13x. And we're going to evaluate this with the fundamental theorem of calculus from 0 to 2. We're going to evaluate at the upper bound, evaluate at the lower bound, and subtract those two values. We've got negative 2 cubed over 3 minus 2 times 2 squared over 2 plus 13 times 2 minus, so I've evaluated at the upper bound, now I'm going to evaluate at the lower bound, it's negative 0 cubed over 3 minus 2 times 0 squared over 2 plus 13 times 0, all of that is 0. So we have negative 8 over 3, these twos cancel, so that's minus 4 plus 26. And 26 minus 4 would be 22, positive 22. And I need to combine that with a negative 8 thirds. So let's take that 22 and multiply by 3 over 3. We have 66 over 3 plus negative 8 over 3. Now that we have a common denominator, we're going to do 66 minus 8, which would be 58 over 3. And that would represent the area between those two curves. The area between those curves from x equals 0 to x equals 2. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.